<laughs> hey, 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 Lori Gemini Tarot. I'm here to give you your November 2021 tarot reading for Scorpio. Yes, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lori Gemini Tarot. I'm a tarot reader. How this works is that I will be using two tarot decks as well as a bunch of oracle and affirmation cards. So make sure you stick around for the entire video. Please note that these are general collective tarot readings. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and ascending sign. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going live and when I'm dropping content. Uh, comment down below if the reading resonates with you, you like the decks, what the heck is coming out of my mouth. And make sure that you tag or forward any Scorpios that you feel that would resonate, that would resonate or enjoy the reading or enjoy the decks. And uh, do not force the reading. If the reading does not resonate with you, um, take what applies, leave out the rest. But do not force the reading. All right. Take the messages, take what applies, and leave out the rest. So I'm going to be using a Disney-themed tarot deck. So I'll be doing two tarot, uh, two tarot readings, um, and they will be Disney-inspired decks. So let me go ahead and pull two more cards. Woo! And one more card. The overall energy I do have for Scorpio for November 2021, it is the Lover's Card Gemini Energy. You could be dealing with the Gemini. You could have Gemini in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, with the Lover's Card, I am just seeing someone having a very strong connection, okay? I'm seeing somebody, their business is launching. It is doing extremely well. You may be forming some sort of partnership. I'm also seeing somebody just uh, kind of playing like matchmaker and somebody kind of just uh, kind of helping kind of push you two together. Okay. You could be encountering this person at a Halloween party or some sort of social event. Uh, it just feels like the timing was right and it was always meant to be. Uh, I am just seeing somebody very cheerful. You, I'm also sensing a little bit of a Leo energy as well. But it feels like this person is could do no wrong. It feels like this person is like a Prince Charming or they're your, they're your princess. It just feels like it's everything that you want it to be. This is a beautiful reading. Okay, so Scorpio, with the Wheel of Fortune here, in the next three to six months, you're going to be receiving a lot of good luck, love, and abundance. So just expect from the end of 2021 and the, the first month of, uh, and the, you know, the beginning of uh, 2022, you're going to be receiving a lot of good luck, love, and abundance, okay? Really focus on quality of time together and focus on just focus on your time because you really don't have much time on this earth and it's best to kind of spend it with loved ones and always kind of just always do the things that you've always wanted to do, but you've kind of been holding yourself back. It feels like now this is, you were always meant to be successful. You were always meant to do this. You're just going to be just, there's a lot of good luck, love, abundance, prosperity, And it just feels like you're always flourishing. If I'm just seeing a garden flourish. I'm seeing someone blooming. The world card, this brings closure. So whatever issues that you may have had in the past, that's done and over with. It feels like your old insecurities or issues, things that used to hold yourself, you used to hold yourself back, no longer do. And you're finally you're finally one. You're finally one with the universe. Strong Scorpio energy. I'm also seeing uh, Sagittarius energy, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius as well. And with the Judgment card, Scorpio energy, this is a rebirth. This is a transformation. I'm seeing just someone 
kind of being like scared straight or getting a second chance in life or some sort of redemption. Somebody could have just gotten out of jail or prison or somebody could have just become clean. Like you may have, to, you know, somebody who may have been used to been like addicted and you finally just got your life together. And it feels like there's some sort of embracement of like embracement, just some sort of reunion, some sort of family reunion. This is a magician card here. Sagittarius energy. I'm seeing somebody manifesting. I'm seeing somebody going on stage, someone performing. This is, you were destined to do this, Scorpio. You were always meant to, it feels like there's, you were always meant to be on the center, center stage. You're always meant to have the spotlight. And it feels like you're finally being able to kind of, Live the life that you've always wanted. This could be teaching others to not go down the path that you're in. But it feels like, you know, it's like, well, if I can't get a job because of X, Y, and Z, then I'm going to go ahead and create the job that I've always wanted. You know, if it's not there, then I'm going to create it. That's the energy that I'm getting, Scorpio. And with the full card, Sagittarius energy, the strong Sagittarius energy here. And there's a little bit of Leo here, too, because of the sun. But I'm just seeing someone, there's this new beginning. I'm seeing travel plans. There's a new beginning. I'm seeing a new adventure. I'm seeing lots of travel plans or just, just starting a full-on starting their own business and your empire is rising. I'm seeing somebody just as soon as you meet your partner or reconnect with this person, you just want to kind of start from scratch, uh, or just, just reconnect by maybe just uh, going down the coast or visiting places that you've always wanted to, or your, you know, or your, you know, your first vacation. You reconnect with the first first place that you went on a trip to. I'm just seeing like loyalty and companionship. The hermit card. I'm seeing the truth being exposed. This is going to be Virgo energy with a little bit of Aquarius. Because there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And this, it does, there's nothing wrong with being alone or there's nothing wrong with being lost in your thoughts. I think you want to jump fully all in, all in but you're afraid of being hurt like last time. But the difference is, is that you have an advantage. You've, you know what would happen if it went back to that way. And I know that you're not going to make it go back to that way. I do feel like you guys are like soulmates or there's a very strong connection. It's like a very strong soul bond. I'm also seeing like one person maybe kind of standoffish or reclusive and the other person is just very very open or welcoming. With the sun card Leo energy, I'm just seeing a lot of optimism, a lot of happiness, travel plans. I'm seeing somebody like maybe, you know, for the holidays, you want to go somewhere sunny like Florida or Hawaii. You want to go where there's really like there's like not snow. I'm also seeing somebody like there's like baby fever or somebody planning like a baby shower. And the temperance card, Sagittarius energy, strong Sagittarius energy here. This is finding peace within yourself. I think for you, Scorpio, you're going to be finding love. You're going to be finding true love. You're going to be jumping into a business that you really enjoy you're going to go all in. You're going to be very successful. There's nothing that you should be afraid about, you know. Um, just make sure that you do your research. There is light at the end of the tunnel, and you're going to be finding peace within yourself. So that was your first reading. Let's go ahead and jump into your second reading, Scorpio. Welcome back. We're going to go ahead and dive into the Disney Princess Tarot deck, okay? Uh, so I already pulled your cards in advance. So I do have the Strength card, which is Leo energy. The High Priestess Cancer Pisces energy. The Wheel of Fortune. Hangman Pisces energy. 
the tower card, Scorpio energy, and of course the overall energy, the moon card, which is Pisces energy. So you're going to be Scorpio, having a lot of visions, a lot of dreams. Things are going to be feeling very intense for you. Um, you're going to be feeling like uh, something is off. You may be feeling a little bit paranoid. You may be feeling like something is off. You may be feeling like um, somebody is trying to play with your loyalty or somebody's talking shit behind your back. <clears throat> so with the strength card, there is going to be some challenges, but you're going to be able to overcome those obstacles. Uh, this could be dealing with um, some sort of discrimination or some sort of sexism or something out of principle that you need to fight for, something for honor. You got to realize that there's, there's going to always be obstacles in life. You got to pick and choose your battles is the overall energy that I got for you, Scorpio. The high priestess, there is a secret, okay? Strong, you need to trust your intuition. There's a lot of light workers, spiritual healers, tarot readers, you know what's up, Scorpio, you've been having a lot of visions, a lot of dreams, you feel like your spider senses are tingling, you need to trust your instincts, um, for a very, for like a very small, like Scorpios, it feels like you, um, you feel like somebody's not being faithful or loyal to you, I'll just leave it at that. The Wheel of Fortune in the next three to six months, you got this in the first reading. In the next three to six months, it's going to be like a real transformation with a lot of good luck, love, and abundance. It's going to feel like it's going to happen overnight because you see transform a transformation from Cinderella and she becomes a princess, you know? Just from being just Cinderella she becomes a princess. So it's going to be like you won the lottery. It, there's going to be a lot of blessings that's going to be coming your way. And it feels like it's going to be coming in threes. So at the end of this year, uh, 2021, and the beginning of 2022, uh, you're going to be feeling very blessed, very humbled. And a lot of things that you've been manifesting is going to be coming true. And the hangman, this is really a choice that you have to make. Um, this is something that you really need to meditate on. So be really focused on what you're manifesting. So the visions, the dreams that you've been having, be careful what you manifest because it will come true. So really focus, really meditate on what you truly want, what you truly desire, and it will come true. And you really have a choice. This is really free will at this point on how you choose to handle uh, the blessings that you come in your life and the challenges that come in your life. And the tower card, this is going to be, most people freak out over the tower card and it can be bad depending on the placement of the cards. This isn't really a terrible reading. Uh, what I'm getting is that there's going to be something that's going to be coming in your life that's going to be life changing for the better. I do feel like it's going to be more of a wake up call or maybe a scared straight moment or you just kind of give you a chance to maybe something happens where you, you just it, something clicks for you where you realize that something drastically has to change and you willingly make that choice. I feel like that's kind of going to be the overall energy for you, Scorpio. But really with the tower card, it's just a magical fluke. It's a great mistake. A, a great mistake. It's a magical event that changes your life. Something just, you know, you feel like your life is ordinary. Then one day it becomes extraordinary. One day it becomes life changing for the better. So you've been having a lot of visions, a lot of dreams, and you've been seeing a transformation. So really make sure that you meditate on what you want. And the next three to six months, your life is going to be transforming. So let's go ahead and get into your Oracle card. Okay, now I pulled for your Oracle and your Body Positive Affirmation cards. So I have Soulmate Relationship, Have Faith, Set Your Sights Higher, and Protection. Okay, so just like the first tarot reading, you're going to be encountering your soulmate. Have faith, you will encounter this person, but remember to focus and set your sights higher. Do not settle for less. Know your worth and add tax. Okay, know your worth and add tax. And just remember that you are protected from the universe. So remember, really focus, even if you have to write a pro and con list, just write everything that you're looking for in a partner and not just the superficial stuff. Uh, look for, you know, 
look for qualities or real characteristics. Uh, you know, you want somebody that's faithful, loyal, somebody who's trustworthy, somebody who is uh, who has ambition, somebody that is able to keep, somebody who has a good job, somebody that uh, is not an emotional cripple, you know, somebody that is responsible, right? Somebody that can take accountability. You know, those things, you don't think of those things are big things, but they are in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but just really dig deep and focus on the wants and the needs that you're really looking for, not just superficial things, you know. You, you got to look past that that will look good or the new, car, you know, the fancy car and all those things because um, a lot of those people are trash, you know, regardless what gender they are. So um, set your sights higher. And for your body positive affirmations I have today, I will have a fucking attitude of gratitude. My body can do amazing fucking things. I do have a beach body. I put on a fucking bathing suit and there it is. And yes, you can get through today because you're a motherfucking unicorn. Yes. So that was your reading Scorpio for November, 2021. If that resonated, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Wash your damn hands and nanu nanu.